so coming to another topic that is uh, thalassemia Before going to thalassemia, let me discuss what is thalassemia. Thalassemia is a hereditary disease. Hereditary hemolytic disease. What do you mean by hereditary? It means that it, this disease keep on transfer from parents to offspring. From parents to their children. So it is a uh, hereditary disease, and by hereditary we mean that it keep on transfer, the disease keep on transfer from parents to their children. By now we know that hemoglobin is manufactured, is the name indicated, it is made up of two things, number one heme and number two globin. In thalassemia what happens, the this globin is for example, if you are talking about a red hemoglobin, hemoglobin A1. So in hemoglobin A1, this globin has four chains, two alpha chains and two beta chains. What happens in thalassemia? In thalassemia, these alpha chains are defective or these beta chains are defective. If these alpha chains are defective, it is called alpha thalassemia. If these beta chains are defective, it is called beta thalassemia. Let me explain it. We know by now that there are certain genes in the body. These genes are present on chromosomes. This gene as a result of transcription you get a synthesis of messenger RNA molecule. So this one is transcription. After the process of translation, after the process of translation, what you synthesized? DNA is, uh, sorry, a protein is synthesized. So by now, on these chromosomes, genes are present. By the process of transcription, messenger RNA is formed, and the process of translation, the protein synthesis taking place. We know there are 23 pairs of chromosomes in a human body. There are 23 pairs of chromosomes in a human body. For example, now we just remove this. And we write it down. This is chromosome This is chromosome number 11 This is chromosome number 16 In chromosome number 11 there are genes are present on this chromosome number 11 the genes that chromosome number 11 contains the genes of beta globin. There are, for example, we draw it like this. This is chromosome number 11. There are two genes, there are, this, these are pairs chromosome, this is chromosome number 11. There are two genes present on this. One gene is this, the other gene is this. On the other hand, chromosome number 6, if you draw chromosome number 16, this is chromosome number 16, there are four genes present. If anything goes wrong with and this is containing for the if anything goes wrong with these two genes this beta globin chain will be not be formed 
if anything goes wrong with these two genes, the beta globin chain will not be formed or will be formed defective. If anything goes wrong to any of these four genes, if anything goes wrong to any of these four genes, this alpha globin chain will be not synthesized or synthesized mild functioning. This will not be synthesized or it will be synthesized but it cannot be functioned properly. The normal presentations which happen here, this is point mutation taking place here. What do you mean by point mutation? For example, this gene or this gene has a, has a normal nucleotide sequence. For example, these are genes. This for example, this is guanine, thiamine, adenine, cytosine. This guanine attach itself with cytosine. Thiamine attach itself with adenine. Adenine attach with thiamine, cytosine attach with guanine. So for example, the common mutation here in this one is if this adenine is replaced with any other nucleotide so this would be a point mutation the normal presentation here on this side is deletion mutation so here the deletion of mutation is very common so by now we come up with the conclusion that thalassemia is a hereditary disease a hereditary hemolytic disease in which there is defective synthesis of either alpha chains or defective synthesis of the beta chains. Alpha chains are synthesized on the, by the chromosomes, by the genes which are present on chromosome number 16 and these are four genes which are responsible. On the, on the other hand, the beta genes, the beta globin genes are present on the chromosome number 11 and the genes are two in number. The normal presentation which lead to alpha thalassemia will be a deletion mutation and the normal presentation will lead to the beta thalassemia it will is call it a point mutation now we come up with alpha thalassemia so thalassemia has two types number one alpha number two beta this alpha and this is beta. We know that alpha has in four genes. One, two, three, and four. Beta is having two genes. One gene and two gene. If this one gene is defective in beta, it is called beta thalassemia 